ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. You've clicked on the Weather Extreme video. I'm ABC 33 40 meteorologist Brian Peters, and this is the Saturday, January the 5th edition. Let's start off by taking a look at temperature trace this morning. A very big difference in temperatures from yesterday morning. And look at this warming overnight. Boy, temperatures did not fall. We hit that high around 50 degrees at my house around, uh, oh, between 3 and 4 o'clock or so. But notice that the temperature just did not fall much overnight. So we're waking up to a very mild morning. But we're also waking up to some clouds. Here's a look at the Tom Bigby River from our Demopolis Sky Cam. I just love that shot down there. And Gadsden, some clouds up there too as the lights are winking out this morning. And then, of course, I wouldn't mind wiggling my toes in the sand down there at Gulf Shores, as I'm sure just about all of us wouldn't mind. At the surface, high pressure that has brought us cold air is moving off the southeastern Atlantic coast as it heads out away into the Atlantic from the Outer Banks. And, of course, look at that storm coming ashore up there in southwestern Canada. Wow, just an amazing storm up there. Uh, 960, I think it's 961 millibars, so quite a storm. Of course, at the surface, uh, or I mean uh, at the 500 millibar level, a storm reflected by a very deep trough up there. But we're under more or less a sort of semi-zonal to southwesterly flow, and you can see a little trough coming across Oklahoma and Texas, and that is going to be bringing some uh, small rain chances, but also helping to warm things up a little bit. And here's a look at temperatures Boy, look at that warming in Texas and uh, in eastern Texas and southeastern Oklahoma. Look at that morning lows in, in January in the, around 60 degrees. Isn't that amazing? Closer to home, though, we're pretty uh, mild this morning, actually, with temperatures around 40 for the lows, although we still have a few cooler spots, like I noticed Gadsden and Anniston around 28. Storm Prediction Center outlooking day three. That's uh, Monday for the possibility of severe weather in the uh, lower Mississippi River Valley, parts of uh, Texas, Oklahoma, uh, most of Arkansas, a lot of Missouri, and a good chunk of northwestern uh, Louisiana. I don't think that's going to be a problem, and they're not outlooking any uh, of the long-range forecasts, so I don't think when that system comes through here on Tuesday that severe weather will be an issue, but of course we'll keep our, look, uh, keep our eyes on it. Rain, though, look at this. Uh, possibility of an inch over the northwestern corner of the state tapering off uh, to, oh, about a quarter of an inch down in the Dothan area. And, of course, we can still use that with uh, the drought pictures that we're seeing. All right, here's the 06 GFS model run. Here's the map for this afternoon at uh, about 6 p.m. and uh, at 500 millibars. And you can see that we've got the little trough moving by. And with that, the possibility that we might see a little bit of... Uh, so some showers, but not a great deal of rain, as you can see from the GFS forecast for uh, late this afternoon and primarily to the northwest. On uh, Monday, uh, pardon me, Sunday, uh, the ridge comes over, so I think we will be, while the moisture will be up there a little bit, I think that we'll stay dry, and we probably will stay dry for much of Monday, although late in the day could uh, see maybe a shower, especially to the northwest of Birmingham, but notice the deep trough developing over the Rockies, and at the surface, we're beginning to see the development of a surface low uh, just to the west-northwest of Kansas City, Missouri, by Tuesday, the trough is inching its way across the central section of the country, and it looks like we have just another string of those uh, behind it. And with that, the front is headed our way, and it looks like Tuesday uh, we will see some rain, especially in the afternoon and evening hours. That one trough zips up to New England very quickly by midday on Wednesday, and we're kind of between systems, uh, so I think we'll be mostly dry on Wednesday. Thursday, that second system manages to get here, and with that, another chance for some precipitation. And this one's looking interesting uh, with the possibility, I think, that we may see uh, something in the way of severe weather, but we'll be watching that uh, carefully. Friday, uh, the one trough is up over the eastern Great Lakes, and we're still seeing another one, and that one is the interesting one because it drops in very far south. Oh, wait a minute. What do we have happening here? 
And then by Sunday, now we're kind of getting into voodoo land, so we got to be careful about this. There is the trough on Sunday, very deep, high amplitude trough over the Mississippi River Valley. And at the surface, uh, what am I seeing here? A cold air wrapping around a gulf low that is now over, uh, oh, about Jacksonville. And one of the things that's interesting is the GFS is being a little bit more consistent with this. Uh, at least it had it on Friday. So we're going to have to watch this, but we are in voodoo. And then by Monday the 14th, that low is uh, causing problems for the mid-Atlantic states. Hope you're not having any travel plans. All right, real quickly, the 16th. Uh, we're under southwesterly flow aloft, and I think that we will be dry, but of course another mess coming through the Rockies by Saturday the 19th. Uh, it's uh, another situation where we've had another front uh, blast through, and it looks like we will probably be dry. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. Appreciate you uh, being one of our viewers and uh, just checking in with us. Hope that you have a great Saturday, and God bless. Oh, 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 oh,